Hello children and welcome back to another story time. So today we're going to have another look at our favourite book, You Choose, and see what else you guys can choose. You Choose by Pippa Goodhart, illustrations by Nick Sherat. Now you remember we've already seen all the places that you could live and the different houses. But who would you choose for your friends and family? Would you like a big hairy caveman, a very angry Viking, or a girl with very long hair? How about a pirate? You could even have Father Christmas as part of your family, or a cheeky little boy, or even some children that like to play on the beach. Who would be fun to have in your family or as part of your group of friends? You choose. Now it's time to get going. Maybe we'll go fast or maybe we'll go slow. Let's see what the book can give us. Would you travel with wheels or wings or perhaps choose one of these other things? Maybe you'd like to travel in a hot air balloon floating high near the clouds or sail across the seas in a very colourful sailing boat. You could go from city to city by train. You could even go into out of space. Can you see all the different types of rockets and spaceships? But if you prefer to stick to the road, how about a car? There are lots of sizes and colours to choose from. If you're travelling around the city, how would you get about maybe up high on a double-decker bus or on a nifty scooter whizzing through the traffic or maybe on the underground below all the streets and noise and buildings? Animals can help us travel too. Check out this chariot with these fast white horses. What other animals can you see? Would you choose a speedboat to go fast? Or a gondola to go slow and do some sightseeing? Or do you want a fun way to travel? Perhaps a pogo stick, a go-kart, or even a skateboard. And bicycles are great for travelling with friends. You remember we've seen lots of clothes and lots of shoes. But how about something to keep our heads warm? So perhaps you'd like to choose a hat. Maybe something fancy for a special event or a wedding. Do you prefer feathers or fruit? This stripy hat would be perfect for bedtime. These bejeweled hats are definitely fit for a king or a maharaja. There are hats with wide brims to keep you cool when it's sunny and furry and woolly hats for when it's cold. There are even helmets for soldiers and hats and tiaras for princesses. But if you are feeling more casual, you could try a baseball cap. And there are certainly some silly hats to make people laugh. Which hat would you choose? Is there a job you'd like to do? Let's look at all these different professions and you can choose the perfect one for you. You could be a journalist. They investigate and tell people about the important events happening around the world. Or you could choose to be an astronaut, travel to outer space, carry out experiments and jump around the moon. Florists, artists and designers, they are all creative jobs. There are also lots of jobs if you like animals. Would you like to be a fisherman? out at sea, or an archaeologist digging underground. 
If you love to entertain an audience, you might choose to be a magician or a singer. Then there are builders, engineers, and scientists. All solve problems to build and create new things. Which one could you be? Whatever job you choose, make sure you have fun. And now, children, it's time for me to say goodbye. I hoped you enjoyed choosing some things in this book. Make sure you check it out, and you can find all the other pages with lots of different ideas. I'll see you next time for another story time. Take care. Bye bye.